This week you're going to learn about layers and selections inside Photoshop. I'm just going to do a very quick overview of this to give you an idea of how this, this kind of stuff works in a practical way. Um, your layers palette in Photoshop is off to the right hand side. A lot of times uh, an important thing to realize when you bring in documents into Photoshop um, from a, where, whatever source, they come in locked a lot of times. So the first layer that you'll see a lot of times will be named background and have this little lock button on it. Before you can do anything to it, you need to de-click that lock buttons to unlock your layer. Selections can be made over here in the left hand palette. There are several, the first three really, uh, things that you see below the move tool are your selection sets. You've got your marquee tool for making uh, very like rectangular, oval, single row selections, linear selections, and you've got a variety of lasso tools, each of which allows you to make more direct cropping selections. Um, for this first selection, just to show you how it works, I'm going to get the um, regular marquee tool here, and I'm going to draw a selection around the logo for the company here. Let's say I wanted to cut this out and move it a little bit. So I'm drawing a little bit of a selection around here. Um, just click and drag to draw a selection. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to show you something. A little tip, hold down space bar uh, on your canvas. It'll bring up the hand tool and allow you to move around your palette while you're making selections. Release the space bar and the little hand tool goes away. Good keyboard shortcut. With this selection, notice um, I made a selection. I'm going to cut out this text here. But I've accidentally included some of this little graphic down here that I don't want in my selection. You can add to and subtract from selections. In Photoshop, while, your, uh, while the selection is made, I've used my marquee tool and made the selection. If I hold down Alt or Option on Mac, Alt or Option will remove from. A little minus comes up. Notice on my little cursor there. And if I roll over the selection and make another selection while holding down Alt Option, it will remove from that selection. You see, it cut out the piece that I had. If I want to add something back in, I hold down Shift, and it adds to the selection you see. So there you go. That's how you can adjust selections. You can make a selection. You can use Alt to, or, or Option to subtract from Shift to add to. Then, when you've made the selection, you can do different things with it. Say if I wanted to move this graphic. Now, if you just choose Move, notice it's moving my background color with it and, and creating a transparency in alpha, which we'll talk about later. Um, we could cut it, control X to cut it. Interesting thing, when you cut something, control or command X, I'm going to cut that item. I'm going to deselect by using the marquee tool and clicking somewhere else on my canvas. And I'm going to do command V or control V to paste. Notice what this does. I'm going to go to my move tool, move my graphic back up top. This created a second layer. That brings us to layers. Selections let you grab things and, and uh, notify that you're moving those items or changing those items. Layers allow you the, the real flexibility in Photoshop. This is what Photoshop is all about, is layers. Every time you cut something and paste something into Photoshop, it creates a new layer, which allows you to move something around and create depth. That's the point of, of Photoshop. Um, I would suggest, just last thing, if you double-click your layer, uh, the name of the layer. It will allow you to name what that layer is and keep things a little bit more organized. There you go. So that's layers and selections. There'll be some more uh, in-depth tutorials by Erica in the material for today. But uh, again, any questions you guys have, feel free to let me know, email me, message me on Canvas, and uh, I can help you out.